My name is Dr. Joseph Anderson. I'm a gastroenterologist at the Whitener Junction VA and an associate professor at Dartmouth College. I'd like to thank my co-authors, Lynn Butterly, who's director of NHCR, as well as a um, gastroenterologist at Dartmouth, uh, Julie Weiss and Christina Robinson, data analysts, Chris, Chris Amos, who is the cancer director at the Norris Cotton Cancer Center, and finally, senior author, Amitav Shavastava, who is a pathologist at Brigham and Women's. The issue that we examined in our upcoming paper, Gastroenterology, was the surveillance of cervical polyps. They account for a large proportion of colorectal cancer. They're detected in many screening patients. And therefore, surveillance is important, but there's little data to, to support guideline recommendations. One of the questions is, how do you monitor surveillance in these individuals? Well, we know high-risk adenomas predict high-risk adenomas. To do serrated polyps, whether we characterize by size or histology, do they predict high-risk adenomas? Biology would not suggest that. And finally, what's the effect of having both serrated polyps and HRAs? Do they increase the risk of HRAs above even having an HRA? When we look at serrated polyps, whether by size or histology, perhaps looking at serrated polyps in surveillance exam is a better way of examining the outcome. And then we can look at the effect of having other lesions as well. So the goal of our analysis was to use the New Hampshire colonoscopy registry to examine two risks, metachronous HRA and metachronous large SP in people with serrated polyps, characterizing those SPs by either size or histology. We use the New Hampshire colonoscopy registry, which is a large statewide registry that's been collecting data since 2004. Our analytic plan included uh, looking at people with index of follow-up exam, having two separate schemes to, in, to um, examine these uh, SPs, both by size and histology, to further characterize index SPs by the absence or presence of synchronous HRAs, and then finally to use logistic regression to adjust for known risk factors to examine risk for metachronous HRA or large SPs. So what did we find? Well, when you look at metachronous HRA, it's not surprisingly that HRA increased the risk. When there was an SP present, whether it was large or small, didn't really affect that risk. Large SPs alone did not increase the risk for HRA. Now, when we looked at histology, we find that the addition of HRA and SSP together, when, they, when in these individuals that had both these lesions, there was significant risk above that for HRA alone. And once again, as shown in size, if you had SSP or TSA alone, there was no increased risk. So let's look at large SP risk. Now, HRAs do not predict large SPs. Large SPs and SSPs both increase uh, the risk for, S for large SPs um, in the future significantly. So to summarize the findings, when you look at the left side, which are the index findings, and the right side, which is the follow-up colonoscopy findings, we, uh, our data supports the literature that HRAs predict HRAs. But we found this high-risk group of HRAs and SSPs, which significantly increased the risk of high-risk adenomas. And finally, large SPs and SSPs, these clinically significant serrated polyps, predicted large SPs. These clinically significant polyps did not increase the risk for conventional high-risk adenomas, as biology would predict. So the summary of our findings are the following. One is, we demonstrated that SPs do not predict conventional HRA. Our large database provided a good estimate of minimal risk since we were able to give a, a sample of individuals with only SSPs or large SPs with no other lesions on index exam. We also found that large SPs predict large SPs. This is important since large SPs rather than HRA may be a better surveillance outcome to monitor people, the surveillance of people with index SPs. We also found large ORs and these low, large ORs may um, um, demonstrate this large um, uh, risk and, and perhaps yield effect or inadequate resection or detection of SPs in index exam. And finally, since we found that SPs predict SPs and not HRA, we're not saying that people with large SPs are, are not important. Large SPs have been shown in long-term studies to increase the risk for colorectal cancer. So therefore, these individuals with large SPs in our study that predict future large SPs should be monitored. It demonstrates that we should be surveilling these individuals.
And finally, we found this high risk group of people with HRAs and SSPs. Um, further study is needed to, to examine the risk factors and the long-term risk of people in these uh, um, with both these lesions. Do these people, in fact, have a higher risk for colorectal cancer? Thank you for your attention.